Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do an unboxing by Revlon. Ta da! So I have already cut it open because there was a thunder rain. Thunderstorm rain going on and it was a bim bam boom. So I have to redo this. But I already cut it, so yeah, anyway, we can still proceed. So today I'm gonna share with you guys about the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lipstick in Metallic Matte. So you know, metallic lipstick tend to be like, um, how do you say that, dry, cakey, and uncomfortable. So the problem is that this one has a 100% wax-free gel texture. It's lightweight, high definition of a matte metallic color, pleasant formula, as well as the moisturizing and velvety feel. Wow, sounds fantastic already. Irresistible irresistible scent of wheat white wheat yeah wheat vanilla and cream mango so you guys remember that we did the unboxing for the 15 HD lip color this smells so good yeah so they come in um, eight high definition metallic matte and this pardon the thunder going on because it has been raining these few days and I hope you guys put on blanket warm and um, drink some warm water or if you catch a cold please drink more ginger tea or anything I know it could be gross but get well soon so today I'm gonna share the eight gorgeous shades that I have right in front of me first one's up check this out Dang! okay this is the um, glow it comes in a very slick look I like the texture of it actually. It feels like um, a small, what do you call that? Um, mm, what's the word? I went my blank. My God. Oh, concealer. <laughs> okay, so let's try this out. First up, woo, check out the brush. It has this unique shape. So it's pretty easy to apply instead of an all-round kind of typical applicator okay so last time I tried applying here and I end up twisting my hand and all but yeah I'll try to do a different whoa 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 you guys gonna check this out gorgeous why look for yourself look at the shine dun, dun, dun. can you see that okay maybe cover my face do you see that? No, it's too bright. <laughs> okay, but anyway, you can see it's really gorgeous. Not because it's wet, but it really has this pearl finish. And it's very light, doesn't feel cakey or sticky. Next up, we have Gleam. Okay, something that's more pinkish. The previous one you can use if you like new colors like me. So yeah check this out oh this is really gorgeous like if you go for um, dewy makeup you can go for this look how gorgeous is that and you can go with the um, you know there's this uh, cream cheek stick that Revlon have I think it's perfect when you you know rub on the cheek color and you put this kind of fantastic so the next one we have is a um, glam it's a bit more romantic look for purplish hint. Check this out. Oh. Did I touch my nose with it? Okay, I didn't. But, oh my god. I like that vanilla with the creamy, slight mango scent to it. Well, makes you irresistible. Maybe your boyfriend will kiss you. Like, oh, so sweet. <laughs> okay, so check this out. Another romantic color. So this tree is something that you can work with every day, no problem. So for the ladies that like more different colors, they have another few, which is this one. It's in flare. You know, sometimes red lipstick can be really loud and bright, but this one has a bit of an orange hue to it. And whoa, with a bit of a gold-ish hand to it. Check this out. Woohoo! Whistles. And look, at the first one, it's still shining bright. Hello! Okay, next 
next one we have shine it's more of a purplish i think and it's just that it's slightly darker from the previous one uh yeah definitely more of the uh, plum kind of effect you don't have to put a lot you know you know even if like if you can remember i applied this just a light layer and there happened to be a thicker streak just a bit you just get this already and this whoa look at that oh my god the shine okay next one whoa whoa we have electric purple and it's called dazzle i like this kind of colors it's like so funky and something like i can do for like high fashion look and like a more give me more variety to work with and this kind of colors are not easy to find in the market really not easy check this out whoa whoa nice right okay next one is done okay if you want to have more of a moody look gothy look this is it something that is so classy i really like this color see it's gorgeous and not overkilling it next is something that i know a lot of ladies they like this kind of color grayish for nail polish yeah this is perfect for you it's called luster so let's check this out yeah you can see that from the sticks like you know the colors are really light they come out like you know not like um some are really thick and this is like you know almost see-through really good right oh, gorgeous and the com it comes out like so awesome like you know looks like it's it's a strong layer or whatever but you know we bring out so much shine with just a bit can you imagine if you put a lot if you want to <laughs> yep that's all for all the gorgeous eight shades trying to break my arm again so yeah did you see that gorgeous right Ta -da! okay so thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing and swiping swapping swapping yes swapping session and i'll be blogging more information if you need to catch them or when i speak too fast or oh, my bad english i'm so sorry but yeah another tip i like to share with everyone is that um some people might not know but some people say it's common sense but yeah just for in case those who do not know like you know you go to departmental stores or drug stores or anything don't test the testers on your lip unless there's a stuff there that is professionally cleaning the lipstick or processing it like cleaning it before someone else uses it don't just take it yourself and apply it on your lip especially when there is no staff person there because why he doesn't know who's the one who used it before you and you could get lots of diseases or virus or whatever i don't know what i call it but it's like herbs or something there's a lot of bacteria you wouldn't know the person before you maybe there's a crack or there's some cuts and then they apply it and then you're the next person who happily they just turn a corner and you just apply it thinking that you look great for your mate um what do you call that date dinner date or something but no don't do that it's really unhygienic and there's lots of bacteria so normally for professional makeup artists or salesperson they will actually slice a portion off and they will use a disposable applicator to use it on you because they are there every day to check the quality of the products and everything so that's more rare i would say trustworthy compared to just sticks of lipstick you didn't know how long they were there who's used it before you so don't ever try testers and don't go there for a makeover on your own so just you know bring your own lipstick and just do it you know it's safe it's it's not worth the risk really okay so much for blabbling but thank you so much for watching see you next time bye